Sentencing day for a former Hialeah police officer who was found guilty of the armed kidnapping of a homeless man who was already in custody. Rafael Otano broke down in court as a judge sentenced him to several years in prison. And local 10's Leanne Motahone was in the courtroom and is live now in Miami with reaction. Leanne. And the judge says she says he followed her heart and the law when handing down that sentence. An extremely egregious betrayal of the public trust. Rafael Otano wept in the courtroom. So did his family. The 28 year old's prison sentence began to sink in. 66 months in state prison. That's five and a half years behind bars for the former Hialeah police officer, convicted in August of armed kidnapping. We're going to file an appeal today. It was in December when Otano responded to a disturbance call at a shopping center involving a homeless man named Jose Ortega Gutierrez. Prosecutors allege that he and another officer took the victim to a remote location location, beat him and tried to cover it up. At his trial, jurors acquitted him of battery but found him guilty of armed kidnapping. I never intended to kidnap anybody or commit any crimes. At the sentencing, Otano read a statement he had written. Others testified on his behalf, describing him as a dedicated husband and father whose lifelong dream was to be a police officer. To please let her come home to me and to my baby. No se merece. Lo que le está pasando. My son does not deserve what he's going through. In the end, the judge was not swayed by the pleas for no jail time, concluding that Otano was not truly remorseful. The desire to terrorize this victim was so great. And then there were the cover-ups. I do not believe Mr. Otano has remorse for what occurred in this case. I believe that the regret that he has indicated is a regret at having been caught. So the other officer facing charges in connection to that incident is Lorenzo Orfila. He does have a court hearing scheduled for December. For now, reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.